Praise the Lord. And a blessed Wednesday to you as you join us for this devotions. And we have been looking at why do we go to church? What is the benefits? So yesterday we spoke about that it is a fellowship. There is, some, there is a blessing that comes when we are together. And today I want to look at another verse of scripture which directs us again about being fellowshipping together. It's Proverbs chapter 27. And it gives us such a nice, a nice direction. It's one of my favorite verses. It says, as iron, as sorry, as iron sharpens iron, so a man sharpens the countenance of his friend. As iron sharpens iron, so a man sharpens the countenance of his friend. Before I go into this, today I want to answer the question, so I don't always get along with people in church. In fact, persons in church, they have irritated me. That's why I am not in church. I love God, but that church thing, not for me. This script here is going to help us. Because when I think of iron sharpening iron, it is abrasive. It is not always nice. In fact, there, there, there are things that sometimes it, it comes off, it rubs the wrong way. Yeah, I want to assure you that sometimes in church, things are going to rub you the wrong way. You know why? Because we are all human beings and we are still on the continuum of learning. We are all human beings and we have, not, we have not completed our journey. So there are things that I'm going to say that hurts. And there are things that you are going to say that hurts. But does that mean that I'm, I'm supposed to not take away and say, no, I'm not going to go back to church because it has, it's too much. You know, I think even on the sporting field, even in school, even at work, on the job. Sometimes people say the wrong things and sometimes you're just like, Lord, they said to do me. <laughs> so many places we go and persons say and do the wrong things to us. But we don't stop going because we tell ourselves this is beneficial. I, I'm thinking even I, I was doing my, my little exercise and getting it in and the exercise teacher was not nice. <laughs> but I continued going because I said the benefits outweigh all that she said that I did not like. So persons are going to tell you things and they are going to say and do things. I, I, I give you the advance warning. It's not all dancing through the tulips when we come to church. That's the reality. But even in that process, even in that process of sharpening, of iron rubbing on iron, there comes, there comes a refining. There comes, it's a process that produces something that is beneficial. And I want to encourage you, though you may be going through stuff and you may, somebody may have rubbed you wrong. Don't you stop going to church because you know why? The benefits far outweigh the pain. Don't worry, it's all right. Stick with God, be obedient to God and you are going to see the benefits of being in church. It will sharpen you. It will bring out things. It will, it will develop you. It will cause you to move to a better and a higher level. It will bring out a blessing. The blessing of the oil is still there for you. Yes, stay with it. Stay with it now. I will see you in prayer meeting. Yes, tomorrow at five o'clock. God bless you.